President-elect Donald Trump won the Electoral College vote today, ensuring he will become the next president. In the end, there were just two defectors, both in Texas. California's 55 electors formally cast their votes this afternoon in Sacramento, and all supported Hillary Clinton, who won the state's popular vote last month. Hundreds of protesters were outside the state house. They pleaded with electors in other states not to vote for Trump. KPX 5's Melissa Kane is live at the state house with one elector who doesn't like the way the current system works. Melissa? Yeah, Veronica, earlier today, this entire area behind me was filled with demonstrators, hundreds of people here protesting the current state of the Electoral College. Now, on the inside of the Capitol, California's electors were voting for Hillary Clinton, but that included one elector who's actually suing the state of California because he says he should be the one to decide how to cast his vote. California's electors voted unanimously today. Tally the vote for the office of President of the United States for Hillary Clinton of New York, a Democrat, eyes 55. No, zero. Even though all the electors are Democrats, not everyone is happy with the system. This is not a great day for democracy, frankly. Vinzaz Kohler is an elector who is suing the state of California because he says the requirement that electors vote the same as the popular vote is unconstitutional. What we did today is forcing electors and tying their hand is not okay because what that results in is a rubber stamping of a situation that I think the majority of the voters are not comfortable with. Leaders of the Democratic Party made sure Kohler would cast his vote for Clinton. They were a little nervous, but frankly, they knew my beef was not with the party. It's really not. Kohler also says he will continue to pursue his lawsuit against the state. Now, to be clear, Kohler is a die-hard Clinton fan. He just says he would like it to be his choice about whether to vote for her. And I'll tell you, when he came out tonight to be interviewed by us, he was greeted like a rock star by some of the people who were here protesting against the Electoral College. So there does seem to be some support for his fight to either get rid of the Electoral College or make it truly independent. Live in Sacramento, Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.